Hi guys, Dean London from Man here from MigratiPhone.com and we've got the Absinthe 2.0 jailbreak for the iPhone 4S, the iPad 2 and the iPad 3 which is the new iPad all running iOS 5.1.1 Now there are going to be a few things that you need to do so we're here to bring you a tutorial Now as you can see that I am running iOS 5.1.1 sorry on my iPhone 4S and then what you need to do is head into general scroll all the way to the bottom hit settings then erase all content and settings now what this will do it will make the jailbreak run a lot faster and a lot more smooth so what that you need to do then is make sure that you are on your lock screen and then just hit the jailbreak on the chronic dev teams absent version 2.0 now as you can see that it's now beginning the jailbreak and this is going to take a short while you just need to make sure that you're not going to unplug your device through any of these steps now this is sent in the, the initial part of the jailbreak data and I have to say um, that I did have some problems running this on my iPad 3 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi version um, and I haven't been able to jailbreak at all with Absinthe 2.0 now running this on my iPhone 4S as you can see there has been no problems at all and everything can run really really smoothly so now it's just sent in the second part and the last part of that jailbreak data and it's just put my phone into a kind of restore settings now it's just booted the phone and it's just rebooting as you can see it's got that spinning wheel now nothing has really happened yet and you still need to make sure that you don't unplug your device at all otherwise you are going to hit some problems and you're going to hit a lockdown error um, version minus five which means then you have to totally restore your device and then go through the whole procedure over again which is something that you do not want to do so as you can see my phone has just rebooted and even though it will reboot back to the lock screen you need to make sure that you still do not unplug your device nothing has actually finished during this point so as you can see that you have got the Apple logo with the status bar underneath it's kicking straight through and it's kind of created a restore point on your phone so once again now it's kicked back into the lock screen but the jailbreak has not finished so do not unlock your device as this is still running as soon as it's completed doing what it's doing you'll see the absinthe 2.0 will say jailbreak complete enjoy and then you can unlock your device and head straight over into Cydia now this part takes about 30 seconds and all in all when the jailbreak works it's absolutely great but like I said I have run into some major problems with my iPad 3 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi version but as you can see my iPhone 4s running iOS 5.1.1 Cydia has been installed then you just need to click that and you'll see that it's preparing the file system now preparing the file system does take a little while so we're going to speed this part up for you okay so the file systems prepared and then you just need to head back into Cydia now there's three options user hacker and developer and um, most people will go for the user but I like to play around so click developer there and then you just need to click done and then it will refresh all the sources so all in all the jailbreak takes around I would say five to seven minutes once it works perfectly but unfortunately on my iPad and I keep saying this my iPad 3 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi version I run into a problem and it just stalled at the and wait into reboot point and it lasted for ages so hopefully the dev team will get this sorted and we will catch you real soon in the next one